And he said, you know what? He said, this is what you need to do. He said, from this day forward, you declare that you want your own building and watch and see what God do. So I had to get beyond just thinking about it and start acting on it. Yes, yes. And in less than one year from the time he gave me that word, we have our own building. Wow. Amen. We have our own wow. building. I, I believe God so much, I carried a, a blank ministry check with me. A blank ministry check? A blank check. ministry check. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Charles Dorsey had told me, he said, and Bishop, <laughs> he said, this is what y'all do. Start extreme giving and make that for building fund. Don't touch that money. Don't use it for nothing but that. And I followed those instructions. So when it was time to get the building, the owner was like, okay, well, you do this now. And then when you get to rest, come down. But the rest, I got to rest now. Come on. We're going to do this right now. Come on. I don't need to come back. What you, what you talking about? Come on. And so when it's something that you desire, when it's something that you want, faith is a working principle, but it's also a, a, a practical in what we need to do, too. And so that's why I'm, I want to tell somebody tonight that may be watching, whether it's a building, a job, whatever, whatever it is, you cannot stop with just thinking about it. Yes. You must also respond yes. to what you've read in the Word. Go to where it is. God ain't going to bring no building to your doorstep. Mm -hmm. God is not going to build a business for you. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing. Isaiah, I think it is uh, 1 and 19. My people know that's one of our mantle scriptures. If you be willing and obedient, then you shall eat from the good of the... There's a lot of land that hasn't been eaten yet because people are not willing. Wow. And if you're not willing, you won't be obedient either. Mm -hmm. we got a lot of land that's out there that needs occupying. And if somebody else is on it and it's your land, they need to be evicted. <laughs> Uh, you know, but, but that's some good stuff. Come on, man. Talk to me. That's some good stuff. We need to be occupying more of the land. <clears throat> and don't necessarily have to be churches. No, no. You know, we just need some good Christian entrepreneurs. I'm with that. Some good Christian saints. Yes, sir. You know, to open up some architectural firms. Yes, sir. To Come open on. up some construction firms. Come to on. open up some, some things that, mm -hmm. you know, can help build up the kingdom. Mm -hmm. that's we got is. enough beauty supply. Uh, no, no. We got enough beauticians. To, uh, what do they call beauty shops? Yeah, beauty shops. Yeah, we got yeah. enough beauty shops, but we need some of my Christian sisters to own some of the beauty supply stores. Yes, we all that. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's what we need. Yes, sir. I'm with you. We buy more hair. That's right. Come mm -hmm. on, man. <laughs> more clothes. More clothes. Do anything. That's right. You know, fair need to be out there raising horses. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Come on, Ready to go, sister? the head of Super Saint. <laughs> Super Saint Saturday. That's what you know. That's right. You got to learn. I mean, that's what we need, man. That's what we need. I'm I'm you, hey, you know what possible? Because think back. If we look at Joseph, and we would give um, a practical illustration, uh, Joseph was like a businessman. Because you couldn't buy or sell come on. unless you come through him. Mm -hmm. He, God gave him the wisdom. That's one of the things that the people of God must seek daily. We need the wisdom of God. Yes. yes. How to do this thing. Come on. You can have all the talent. Yes. You can have uh, all the looks and all these other things. Right. But unless you have the wisdom of God, right. we'll be missing it. So, can we get wisdom by faith, Paris? <laughs> <laughs> can we get wisdom of faith? Yes. I mean, so you can believe God for wisdom. Yeah. You. Mm -hmm. The way faith and wisdom work, there, it's a fine line, but they're close together. Mm -hmm. Because you have faith, and God could do anything. You have faith that God is able. So with having faith that God is able, you already got wisdom, knowing that God mm -hmm. can do anything and all things is possible through God. So to me, that's wisdom right there. <clears throat> So you already mm -hmm. conquered one step. So now you need to go on the second step. Like Dr. Darby said, mm -hmm. you got to put your fun. hand Tell to the plow. So. You got to put work to it. Mm -hmm. You can have faith and sit on the couch, yes, but that sir. don't mean your sandwich going to make itself. Yes, you got to get up and make it yourself. Come on, man. And like you were saying, like entrepreneurs and business, like it's a lot of people out here 
with dreams and visions, they got faith right. all day, but they ain't stepped forward. Right. Mm-hmm. right. They ain't stepped yeah. towards it. Yeah. So, so, so Super Saint, can, <laughs> can you ask God to tell you what type of business that you should have and he will give you that wisdom? Or is it just your decision on what you want to do and he'll back it? How does, how does that work? I mean... You, mm-hmm. you can ask God, but God put the power in our hands. You know, mm-hmm. he's not one to say, oh, well, you can't have, like you mentioned, the, the beauty supply store or, you know, like my sister having her own interior design doing that. God doesn't care about that. Come you know, that right. wisdom. Well, God, how do I start this plan? How do I go about, you know, budgeting the finances? So God doesn't mind, but seeking his face first. Well, what's the steps I should take this in? So, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> Being a business woman, mm-hmm. and you said you know sometimes mm-hmm. the the breakdown of the automobiles yes, Lord. ain't as often as you would would like to see. Mm-hmm. Will God <coughs> break down automobiles for you so you can go to town? I tell you what, this is the slow season for everyone, so it's just not my business or anything like that, but. Um, I do believe by the power of God, He do open up opportunities mm-hmm. and windows and doors when mm-hmm. you don't when when you don't have the the knowledge right there. Right. I was sitting at my desk today, mm-hmm. and this can be a testimony service for my dad. You know, um, yeah. well, I've been trying to um, you know, we took towing cars, and I had this vehicle back there since um, January of fifteen. Talk to my, talk to my. Oh, January fifteen. <laughs> And I'll be doing the calculation. That's thirty dollars per day. So oh, I wow. had to negotiate with the finance company that's in mm-hmm. Illinois in another state over. So I said, "Listen, ma'am, sir, I don't want this. I can't do anything to this car. As long as the engine is blown in, per se, per se, and we we can't get any mm-hmm. any information from the owner or stuff. They just abandoned it. And I I can go downtown and get an mm-hmm. abandoned title and things like that. But he he put the understanding in me to go in. Forget about this step and this step. Mm-hmm. I went straight to the person, to the credit union. And I said, hey, listen, we can negotiate right now. I just need space right there. So if you had me, what are we talking about? So she came mm-hmm. back. Um, and such as I'm not supposed to be doing this or anything like that. But mm-hmm. we want the car. But we want it at this rate or something like that. And I said, well, hallelujah, that's what I wanted anyway. <laughs> so I get a check coming in 48 hours that I'm mm-hmm. not supposed to even be having. Only... Because right. occupied some space, right? There you go. Exactly. Yeah. So, I, and I would have never, I would have never went to them because you know it's not protocol. Right. You're, right. You're, right. I'm sorry. You're supposed to, <laughs> you're supposed to go through, you know, the bandit title downtown, waiting to get the certified letter, come back, and the steps. I went straight to them. No, no, no. Are you a tither? Yes, absolutely. Yes, sir. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Yes, sir. Have, have you found that mm-hmm. that that tithing and faith? Yes, sir. Sort of go hand in hand. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. Uh, to me, faith allows you to break up the ground, and then you do your works by sowing the seed, and then you just believe God. Mm. And God has to give it back. I think it was Isaiah. The Bible said he gave him back a hundredfold in the same year. But but let's let's throw a spin on this. Mm -mm. What what happens when you follow principle, but it seems as though faith is dragging his feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you believe it. You follow an instruction, but what happens when it seems like years go by Mm -hmm. and more years go by? And then you start allowing contradiction mm-hmm. to challenge your conviction. I've been there. I'll tell you what that looks like. God gave me a word in 98. It didn't manifest to 2013. How many people can hold on that long? But what happened was this. God was teaching me in segments of five years. In 98, you want to be in ministry full time? Here's the training ground. In five years, I had to go through what appeared to be a living hell. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm just keep on. I tried to leave. But you cannot leave until God exit you. If you trust God and you want to stay in alignment, yeah. we, have to, we, 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 we have to understand that God has a rhythm too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God has a rhythm. 
A rhythm. A rhythm. Watch this. Mm -hmm. A good man steps are ordered by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right. That's the rhythm. A good man steps. Hold on, Reverend. Come on now. Hold on, Reverend. I'm get you. Come on. So you're trying to tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. That Jesus. Yes, sir. <laughs> is up there in heaven. Well, line dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that, but I tell you what, they worship it in praises. Come on, I know that's right. <laughs> they worship it in praises because <laughs> they line dancing. <laughs> they they because the good steps. <laughs> Come on, right, to the steps of a good man. Oh, all about the Lord. Come on, right to the right, to the right, to the left. Amen. Come on, Amen. Amen. I believe you. A praise on a different level. Come on, worship. On a different, I'm starting yes, to get inside. I'm going to tell you. Now, you want me to Now, watch this, though. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now, watch this. When faith becomes sight, yes. that's something that you have to share with others. Now, when faith becomes sight, sight. Oh. according to Hebrews 11 and 1, faith is a substance of things hoped for. Hope for. So you got to pull that on. substance. Come on. That substance has to be based off the word of God. Yes, sir. That's my substance. Yes, sir. Hope for. If I lose my hope. Oh, you lost everything. You done lost everything. Lord, can, I, can I say something? Go ahead. Go ahead. Say, you, are, you are in the spirit. Y'all need to come listen on. to this man. Come on. Come on. If you see a house. Yes, sir. A car. Yes, sir. A woman. A man. Yes, sir. Come on. And you begin to have faith mm -hmm. for that thing. Yes, sir. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not, not seen, seen. Mm -hmm. right. but now you've seen it. Now you see. So you ain't got a hope for it no right. more. That's right. Wow. Okay? You ain't got a hope for it no more because you've seen it. You've seen it. Now all you have to do is apply your faith for Come on. That's it. That's a testimony. Right that, that's, that's, it. It. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's real. 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 Working principle. Come on. My hope. Working principle. My hope. Absolutely. You know, Working, we got the evidence of that. Mm -hmm. We got the evidence of that. I'm looking for a house. Come on. Y'all, the young couple over there looking yes. for a house. Come on. Y'all see it. That's why you gotta see it. Since you first you're open for a house. Right, 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 exactly. Right. Now y'all sit down. You, you gotta go where it is. So guess what? Take hope out the way. That's right. And believe. Now you have faith. Yes, come on now. Faith that's, is that's, the evidence. That's good, Pastor. Of things not seen. Good, Pastor Pop. That's, that's good. good. The substance of things not seen. Yeah, so now you got this. You got on. the house, you got the substance. Yes, sir. All you gotta do now is just. That's right. Apply your faith to it. Thank you. And, and you'll get it. I've done it many, 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 many times. Me too. I'm with many, you. Many, many times. I'm with you. After I saw it. Mm -hmm. So I don't hope for it no more. No. That's, that's a trip. Yeah, it is. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I'm A double-minded man is unstable. Is unstable in all his ways. And he should expect nothing. Ooh. Absolutely from nothing the from the Lord. Come on, Fossil. You know, God, the God loves his kids. Sure he does. Well, and he, he won't hold no good thing. He won't thing. hold no good thing from us. Come on, Father. I've done it time and time and time and time and time. We want to teach him. We want to teach him this principle. Time again. We want to teach him. And and, and I, I, I'm just not a greedy person. Mm -hmm. No. You don't have to be. I don't have to be greedy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to walk around every neighborhood and say, I'm going to the house right there. Because I really don't want it. No. <laughs> no. You know, I don't want all that. You know, I don't want all that. I don't want all that. Stuff. No. But when I see something that I want, yeah, I, I, I pursue it. Mm. It's mine. Absolutely. Yeah. I see what I want. Absolutely. I don't absolutely. hope for it no more. No. Now I claim it. No. I, absolutely. No, I claim my house. But that's my house. Absolutely. And start the ball rolling in the. Absolutely. And getting it. And, and, and see, but, but, but you know what? Here's, the, here's something that we have to be careful of. Yes. When God blesses you with, with what you want, don't get out of line. Oh, amen. Stay in line. Amen. I teach my people that. Just because you got what you want, stay in line because there's more to come. Mm -hmm. There's more that you're going to need to believe God for. There's more because you have to understand whatever God bless you, blesses you with, it also has a purpose to bless somebody else. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So whatever God has blessed me, I must take from that and bless somebody else. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. God wants us to recycle the blessing. And, and see, can, can I say something? Go ahead. Holy Spirit tell me. Go ahead. In your business. Yes, Lord. You can say to the Lord at any time, 
and, and you can probably visualize this. Mm -hmm. Lord, I want um, X amount of trucks. Mm -hmm. Yes, with come on. X amount of workers. Mm -hmm. Come on. With working X amount of hours, you know, mm -hmm. some, some men and women to work. Mm -hmm. And um, you can give that kind of detail. Right. And you can visualize it because come you already on. have the business. Mm -hmm. Now on. you just got to visualize it. You don't have to say, well, Lord, give me a million dollars. Right. Right. Uh, no, you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. You can say, Lord, show me how to mm -hmm. obtain okay. a million dollar worth of business. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he will give you step by step instruction. Mm -hmm. My bishop always told me to do Come this and, he's, and, he's, and he is so correct to this day. Mm -hmm. I write down the steps. Yes. When, when God gives me a plan, if it's the mm -hmm. middle of the night, if it's in the middle of the day or whatever, mm -hmm. right. he gives me a plan, mm -hmm. I write it out. Right. Phase one, phase, phase two, two, phase three. Okay. Right. And boom, 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 boom. It, it happened. That's how I got the ball. I believe that. What? I, I rolled out yeah, phases. And you had something. Right. I rolled out of phases. Okay. Right. And, and everything, yeah. in, 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 in not all those churches are in the mall. Of course, they kicked me out, but the yeah, that's thing, okay. I did it. But, but, now, but, but, but now my man of God released me to the city. Amen. He said, the thing you, you did in the city, I mean, the mall, what I'm doing some churches, do it in the city now. Yeah. Right. It's needed. We can mm -hmm. see that. It's just, really just doing the city, and then when I met your daddy, mm -hmm. and that idea he had with that building he's in, right? Yes, sir. Why the why buildings like that started coming to me? There it is, mm -hmm. work it. Look what God could do with these type of facilities. And it didn't take long. It didn't take long. At nope. All. Pastor long Charles long. and his construction crew, oh, they, they handled it. They handled it quickly. And yeah. me for that day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He put a hole in the wall. <laughs> That entryway going to the man's grass, and he did. I had yeah, 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 yeah. put a job on the yeah. Last time, I think he had. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? Go ahead and, and make that happen. <laughs> Super Sam, be proud of your man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> be proud but, of your man. But, Shoot. But, 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 you know, but you know, Apostle, there, there, there's another thing, too, is that we tell people. Our excitement is because we didn't allow the challenges of what we had to go through dictate uh, whether we was gonna come through. Yeah. See, that's the thing, and I tell people this. I say sometimes, all the time, you got to be willing to deal with being uncomfortable. You got to be willing to deal with people talking about you, people uh, uh, trying to do things that try to hinder you. All that comes. There's no way you can get around that. I, I tell people that if you want something that's blessed, you must experience opposition. Mm. It ain't going to come easy. It never comes on a red carpet. Sometimes it comes in what looks like a form of a cross. Mm -hmm. There's suffering involved. Mm -hmm. And that's why I tell people. And, and, and the suffering is going to come from areas that you're familiar with and that you're attached to. you got to really suffer the reference. you, you got to really suffer. suffer. Watch oh, this. Now watch this. But, but to help people understand, they're like, what you mean suffer? Mm -hmm. there, there, are, there are different levels of suffering too. Yes, yes. Everybody may not go through having heart attacks and right. all those losing your income and money like I did. I'm not saying that that's going to be the cup everybody drinks from. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the cup I drank from. Right. And through it, though, it has given me a platform to teach people about how you can trust God through affliction. I love this. Apostle Paul says, I got trouble on mm -hmm. every side, mm -hmm. but I'm not in despair. The message I'm sharing on Sunday is it was my worship that dropped the walls of my and my adversity. But God showed me two walls that stop people. What's that? The two the first wall is the inner wall. We put a wall around our ears because we cannot control our mouth. Come on. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Do I need to say that? <laughs> Do I need to say that again? Wow. Amen. Sometimes it ain't the enemy that talk us out of our breakthrough. It's us. It's us. Mm -hmm. So you put a wall in when you need to be hearing. You put a wall up there. Mm -hmm. You keep talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make your petition known. Yes. Supplication. Come on. But then, as you're speaking, you still must be able to hear what God is saying to you. Yes. More, more times we need to hear more than speak. Yeah. 
Because right? the instruction doesn't come in you talking. The instruction comes in you hearing. Yeah. Yes. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you teach people these biblical principles that are workable principles that, that, that happens. I tell Tragedy Tribe Ministry, there is no excuse if none of y'all is blessed in every every life because your man of God is blessed. I've taught you this principle. God paid, allow my house to be paid off supernaturally, so can yours. God is not a respective person, but I had to apply principle. Yep. I had to apply principle. I have paid other people's bills. Now, my got yeah. paid off. <laughs> Come on. Wait, and so, <laughs> whatever you wanted for God to do for you, are you willing to do that for, for others? others? Yes. Come on. Is there a principle? Mm-hmm. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. Mm-hmm. Apostle, I'm believing God right now for $10 million. For the next phase. I don't know when the next phase will be. Watch this. We need the wellness center. We need that the twelve step program. I I want some ho- some houses when people have whatever situation. It, it's a ninety day stay. But we got qualified folk to deal with these people, help them get back on their feet, teaching them how to do it the biblical way, but then not being so so spiritual that 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 we can't give them practical principle where they can understand it. Now let me ask a question. Go ahead. Ten million dollars. Ten million dollars. Yes, sir. Man, that's a lot of money. I know. Not really. Not really. Mm-hmm. Right. I probably didn't ask for enough. Now, 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 now let me ask you. Come on. Do you have a plan in place? Yes, sir. To to obtain that ten million dollars. Yes, sir. We working on that. You working on the plan, or you working, or you working the plan, or you working no, on we, the plan? No, we we are working the plan because watch this. The plan is very simple. Come on. And you and you told me this too. Come on. Be faithful mm-hmm. over a few things, mm-hmm. and I'll make you ruler over many. So what God has entrusted me now. Excellent stewards. We take care of the building that we have. Make sure we pay our bills on time. Make sure that we tithe and offer. Because God said, if I see I can trust you with a little, increase is automatically going to come. Because you're showing good stewardship. The problem is we won't manage whatever God has given us and we want more. No, we're working what we have now. Because I've noticed, God, not to bless in an abundance, but to bless in just a little bit. No. Mm-hmm. Can I share something go ahead, share. with you guys? Yeah, go ahead. And let me tell you what you think about this. Go ahead, go ahead. It's just like when you save for a house or you save for a car. Mm-hmm. Something that you want. Right. Save for the ministry. Mm-hmm. That's good. Say, you know what? Lord God, mm-hmm. I want to sow $500. Yes, sir. By this date. Sure. At this time to our church. Amen. Amen. Start putting it away. Yes, sir. Start setting it aside. Mm-hmm. If it's a hundred dollars a month, if it's twenty dollars a week, mm-hmm. or whatever that amount is, just set that aside. Amen. When it is time mm-hmm. to sow that mm-hmm. seed, mm-hmm. sow that seed with an intention of receiving a harvest. Come on now. What you want God to give for you? Believe, yes, sir. Brother, come on. I'm with you. It's the most easiest way to accumulate money that you've ever could have imagined. I agree. Easiest way. Because mm-hmm. God's honoring you, first of all. Yes, he is. Okay, I mean, here he, here they are, here, here she is, setting aside a certain dollar amount mm-hmm. to bless the mm-hmm. ministry, to bless the kingdom, to bless the church. Mm-hmm. He's going to honor that. Mm-hmm. And if you make that into a habit, yes, sir. when you start giving that 500 mm-hmm. thousand. Come on. 5,000. Easy. 10,000. Easy. God will bring back to you. Talk to me, Apostle. Not only what you sown. Talk to within me. In a relatively quick period of time. Talk to me. But then expect a harvest off of that. Mm-hmm. Expect. Expect it. Mm-hmm. Expect it. I know, man. I get $500 to church. Come man, on. Shoot, I get that $500 back before the end of the week. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Before you're you're so right. the end of the week. You're so right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Then I get yes, surprised sir. later on in the month or, mm-hmm. or down the line with a deal or a, a selling of a property mm-hmm. or something, mm-hmm. and it goes so smoothly there and so go. easy, mm-hmm. and it puts $10,000 in the bank. It puts $20,000 in the bank. Just like that. I mean, just like that. Mm-hmm. 
just come on, like come that. on, Pastor. If you keep doing that, yes, you can sir. get up to ten million dollars. I know I can. You right. Come you on. can get up to ten million dollars if on. you purposely mm -hmm. set aside to give. Yes, sir. God honors that. Yes, sir. What we do is we give our tithe. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Mm -hmm. Because you got a job, you're going to always get the little money back. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right, right, right. It's coming right. back. Mm -hmm. It's coming back. Mm -hmm. you can't get fired. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, okay, you know you was late. You know, you know you was late, but I'm, I'm gonna touch the boss's heart. <laughs> right, leave it alone. <laughs> leave him alone. Leave him alone. But when mm -hmm. you're in a situation like you are a pastor and you yes, are Carolyn, mm -hmm. when you own your own business, own your own business, it's essential. Mm -hmm. It's you, you. We're blessed because we get to see it quickly. Yeah, we do. You, you know, we get to see it quickly. We get to give that money to, to the Lord, yes, and it comes back. And then we start intentionally giving, it comes back. I've seen, I've seen it happen time and time and time Come again. On. That's why when I hear certain people say they have financial issues in the church, the first thing especially pastors, mm -hmm. right? I begin to scratch my head. Mm -hmm. I said, "Are you Come are on. you sowing any seed?" Yeah. That's the first thing I have to ask because God's going to give it back to you. Yeah, He has to. He's going to give it back to you to. immediately. That's right. Come immediately. On. And I, I just know. I, I get a call every time I do it. I get a call. Hey, I, hey, we need you to come shoot a conference for us. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. We need you to do this. We need you to do that. Every single time. So I'm just giving you a <laughs> little heads up. You know. And then if you save it for a house, mm -hmm. and if the Holy Spirit say, sow it. Let it go. Don't say, get behind me, say, <laughs> Like we done did so far. <laughs> Let it go. I done saved, it go. I done saved this ten percent on this house. I'm Let not giving. And God say so it. Let it go. He got something bigger and Amen. better for you. Let it go. He'll blow your mind. Mm. Absolutely. And then once you start doing that, you start expecting it. Yes, sir. You're you know, right. You you just start expecting him to. I agree. To to just blow your. I agree, Pastor. To, to blow your socks off. I agree. You know. I it, agree. It, I just can't. I just can't stress it. No. And that's true because you know what? That's what we did through Bishop taught us extreme giving. We know about extreme giving. Mm -hmm. And through and through through that, that set us up. So when we mm -hmm. did find our own building, we had mm -hmm. everything we and needed. You had all the money and you had a blank mm -hmm. check in the pocket. Mm -hmm. I kept it with me. Yeah. As I was looking for builders, I kept that blank mm -hmm. check. So when I found the right one, it's just right to check out. Mm -hmm. So I know it's a, that, that is truly a working principle. Wasn't that a good feeling? Oh, that was excellent. The man was eyes buck like this. Come on. I don't need to come back. We could do this today. Yeah. He knew you was yeah. a good tenant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he started talking about the same day, owning all of it. Uh -huh, cause he, brother, now he proclaimed, now he prophesying on you. <laughs> <laughs> your gift will bring, see, 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 your gift brought you before a great man. Yes. Who owns a whole building. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You, you came in there, not penny and nickel and dime. No, sir. Oh, trying to get a deal. He saw God, <laughs> how God, God worked. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm now, telling you. Yes. Yeah, so he prophesied. Mm -hmm. He's Pharaoh. Yes. Yeah. He just told <laughs> Joseph, "You can have all. You can have all. Yes. You right." And I believe God will use him again to bless me, and He don't know how. I Man, He already just spoke it. Yeah, He did. Mm -hmm. It's already in that man's heart. It is. You're right. Because when I call him for anything, He right there. Come on. I told. I, I give you an example. I told him. We noticed a little, little leak in the roof. He said somebody did the whole entire roof. Mm. Wow. <laughs> the whole roof. Mm. It was just one, one spot. He did the whole thing. I was like, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, all right. Well done. No <laughs> issues. No man, problems. I have a property, man. Come on. They pay that rent on time. Yes. I got, they, sometimes they pay talking. before, the, one girl paid that rent already. That's what I'm talking and about. And the first ain't even here yet. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> she got favor with me. That's how we yeah. did we done paid our rent first day here yet. She got favor with me because mm -hmm. she took care of her business. Yeah, that's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Good stewards. Good stewards. Mm -hmm. good, good stewards. Good stewards, man. I'm telling you. And God honors that. Money answers all things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it says. Money answers all things. And money is a defense. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But you know what? There, 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 there's another way, too, how to get prosperity, and that's through sacrifice. Mm -hmm. People don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. But that's right. Well, but what's no sacrifice? Now, now, when you look at it in the long run, not when you look at it in the long, long run. I remember, Apostle, and I, I pray this helps somebody else. I, I, I remember not having no no money, and and watch this, and and you with other pastors, and and you want to go to eat with them, <laughs> and you pray for a miracle to fill your pocket. 
but you go anyway. Mm-hmm. Hey, and I was passed out. You know what? I, I got this. you. I was like, <laughs> wow. 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 I love it. I love it. God sent over an angel. Oh, I love it. Brother James, how you been, man? Come on, Tom. He's talking to us and all excited to see you. Mm -hmm. Let me let me pray for you and your wife breakfast. Hallelujah. I'm the God truth. I know what you're saying. Did, did, did have it. Don't have none. Did, did, just didn't have it. I just assumed she brought some. She just brought some. Didn't bring nothing. Didn't bring nothing. Got to be both. You know what I'm saying? I love that. Oh, I love stories yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, brother Chris Williams. He came over and said, hey, I hey, love brother, you know, came over, man, and, wow. and, and pay. Hey, I, I want to pay for that breakfast. They want to And gave a tip. Wow. Mm. And see, I've done, done that for people. Yeah, me too, man. And, 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 and I, I tell the waitress, don't even tell them who did it. Yep, that's all. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. The Bible said, don't let your right hand know what, you live what your left hand is mm-hmm. doing. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't need to be seen by men. Right, right. Yeah. If you do it, if you do it privately, God rewards mm-hmm. you open. That's right. right. And see, you ain't got to remind God. I like about what that. you've done. You gotta remind me, hey, you open my hey, life. Hey God, hey God, you know I I done I done gave this and I done gave that, you know what right. you ain't got it. You gotta do it. He, he don't forget. forget. He record. don't forget. He don't forget. He don't forget. He gonna take good care of his Come on. anyway. Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. So I, I so like you said, you know, when we when we talk about faith and works, we need to cover all the bases. Yes. Everybody wanna get home, but there's first. There's second. Yeah. And there's third. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what? Sometimes God will allow you to hit a home run and go all the way in. Yes. Suddenly. Yeah. And, and bring, bring others in. Talk to me, son. And bring others with you. And bring others with you. But then there's, yeah. but, but then there's a yeah. other time where God does it in steps. See, people don't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest with you. When I told my late man of God, Dr. Darby, I said, Daddy, God said I need to be in ministry full time. You know, he didn't show like he was impressed at all. He just looked at me. And I was like, did I say something wrong? He asked me again. He said, you sure you know what you're talking about? Mm. And I, I didn't answer right away. I waited. I was like, Dad, is this a trick question? Right. Lord, I know I heard you. So I was bold. I said, Daddy, God said he want me in ministry full time. He looked at me like you looking at me now. Mm-hmm. He said, it's going to cost you everything. Mm. And that's what I said. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. And Lord, it did. Oh, almost lost my family behind it. I lost my health behind it. I lost my finances behind it. Mm-hmm. But watch this though. Only Minister Carolyn really knows. She was there when this happened. They were so angry at me on that job. I came in with with. I'll just I'll just say this for those that's listening. To me, it was God's ordained contract. But they gave me religious preference. When I went there, God told me, tell them you can't work the weekends because you're training as a minister of the gospel. My parents had to school then. And tell them you can't work on your prayer meeting nights. Well, God told me, tell them. And I did. I told them that. So they agreed to it. But what they said was this. You will never be a manager. Uh, uh, you know, you will never work full time. I said, I'll take it. I got to raise the second day. Mm-hmm. And she know it. She, she's my witness. I got to raise the second day. They created a midnight shift for me so I can be a manager. A midnight shift. Mm-hmm. But it was one man that tried to get in the way. Mm-hmm. And what he did was this. God had removed me from him. Put me in another place where I got promoted. Then the other guy, the manager that moved me, got promoted to district manager. Mm-hmm. And guess who replaced him? My other enemy. Mm-hmm. And he got there, and he didn't like that. So what he would do is not schedule me in the daytime on my prayer meeting night. So I started losing money. Start losing money. But you know what? I, I I I didn't worry about. But God removed him, sent him all the way to Houston, Texas. Mm-hmm. God will remove your enemies, yes, you your obstacles. Yes, you but I said, God, you know how how am I going to transition? Mm-hmm. I, I in the fourth year, remember. 
I just stayed there five years. Got right. did it in five. I tried to leave the fourth year and get a job as a a, a writer for uh, one of the Chevrolet or something. I forgot what kind of writer you call that. You know mm -hmm. what that is. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't do it. But God exited me from that job with a massive heart attack on the job. And I drove myself from Lee and Miles to the Cleveland Clinic in cardiac arrest with my mother on the phone. They immediately put me into some care. God kept my heart. I didn't pass out of the wheel. Nothing. And that was it. I never went back to secular work. Mm -hmm. And now I'm getting ready to celebrate in December 14 years of doing God's will. Amen. Full time. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wow. What you get your faith out there for? Right? Uh oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, as you already mentioned, as far as a house for us, wow. debt Hallelujah. free to go into the, this newfound marriage. Like, that like I don't want no debt going in. So God oh, already canceled my debt. Sure I don't mm -hmm. have that to worry about. Come on, somebody. His debt, any debt that he has, I want that to be eliminated. Yes. So going into a successful marriage. I'll either increase or be re removed from my job. So I'm like, Lord, it would be a challenge, but whatever your time. will is. Because honestly, mm -hmm. I don't want to do that secular work anymore. My father mm -hmm. said ministry full time, and the first twelve, I'm like, God, that's me. That's me. Take 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 me. I do. Um, sometimes fear tries to step in the way, like, sure. well, you know, you want to go to grad school, but God, you canceled this one debt for undergrad and not want to get back into that debt. Well, how's school going to be paid for it? Oh, I work these hours. How am I going to go to school? But I'm like, God, it's, it's in your hands. Now, why do you want to go to grad school? I want to finish what I started. You know, got my undergrad degree, but occupational therapy, I want to have my own practice with that. So, in order to do that, grad you school to, has to. You have to go to, so that's, go to grad school. That, that's where I'm at with that. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, doing that kind of work would have been enjoyable to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, have you found a job in that, in that field? Mm -hmm. I, no, <coughs> not in occupational therapy because there's other steps, you know, obtaining your license, got to do your certification. So, almost, but not there yet. <laughs> doing home health aid and working side by side, but mm -hmm. I can't say I've had a job specifically. With yeah. occupational therapy. You know, <clears throat> come on. This morning, Lord woke me up with an idea. Yes. <laughs> and it fits along the lines of okay. what we're talking about today with faith. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of it. Go ahead. Just share it with you. Mm -hmm. But he wants me to, um, I'm doing a, a conference called mm -hmm. Apostolic Business mm -hmm. on, on how to do business apostolically. Mm hmm. And he says the body of Christ has really missed this. Mm -hmm. They've missed this for years. Come on. And he gave it to me. Wow. This is what has happened. Mm -hmm. Remember Daniel? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Statesman. Daniel was also a prophet. He was. Do you know the things that Daniel did and the things that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego yes, did? <laughs> mm -hmm. And the things that Samuel did? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Do you know these men and mm -hmm. David brought in millions and millions yes, in they today's sure dollars? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Interpreting one dream yes, sir. brought Joseph into a position of, of greatness. Yes, sir. Daniel interpreting the dream of Nebuchadnezzar yes, sir. brought him into greatness. Come on, talk to me. Why isn't that happening today? Mm -hmm. Amen, you're right. Do you know that laying hands on the sick, mm -hmm. uh, people were willing to give Anything to be healed? Anything. What we haven't done, and don't take this the wrong way, we mm -hmm. haven't equated the gifts of God mm -hmm. with the financial blessing that comes along with it. Right. Come on now. You right. Few men know about it, but they don't share it. Mm -hmm. They know that if they heal the sick, they can say, God, this person had cancer. Mm -hmm. If they had gone to the hospital mm -hmm. right. and they had <laughs> surgery mm -hmm. they would. and they had to, they'd be paying woo, yes. hundreds and hundreds of thousands hundreds of thousand dollars for chemo and, and, mm -hmm. and yes, surgery. Sir. You yes. use me just to lay my hands on them mm -hmm. and they got well. Yes, sir. Show me my money. Right. right. I got you. I got you. There's wealth in it. 
all through the Bible, you see these <clears> men <throat> do different miracles, and there was a blessing to them that followed that the people wanted to give them. It was, it was. Come on, we are missing something here. We're missing it. That's why you know, you know, you have people in the church, and they just well, because we live in a dollar society. Mm -hmm. You're not serving mammon. Mm -hmm. You're serving God. Mm -hmm. But the blessing comes. The gift that he's giving you will bring you financial reward. He says mm -hmm. that, right. But you but you read it all throughout the Bible. Mm -hmm. You read that here this is why psychics are so funny because they charge you twenty, thirty, forty, fifty dollars or whatever with your mm -hmm. hand. Three minutes. <laughs> A Christian <laughs> can prophesy over a person mm -hmm. and and that's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah it is. You're right. And there's no price tag on it. Mm -hmm. But because we haven't put one on it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I do believe that those gifts that are out there, Come on now. if you start to equate them yes, sir. in today's market, mm -hmm. what would it cost to, to heal a person that's blind? Right. What would it cost to mm -hmm. heal a person that that's, has a cold and sick? What right. does it cost? I mean, you start equating it. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. God gave you the gift of healing, and you start using the gift of healing. Guess what? Mm -hmm. He will bless you financially. Because you took the place of the doctors. You sort of body, you know what I'm saying? Because this is what they did all through the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Every time they healed a Gentile, Come on. there was a reward. Yes. They was rewarded for You're doing right. it. You right. Mm -hmm. The kings would just bless these men. Mm -hmm. But today, the church doesn't do it much. I mean, you know, you don't you don't think that way, but then you see Benny Hinn, I think Benny Hinn got so rich. He, he understands the principles. He does. Multi-millionaire. Multi-millionaire. Mm -hmm. he, un he simply understands the principles. That's true. And God's blessing him. Big time. Huge. Huge. You know, sometimes I don't even know if it's real or not. <laughs> yeah. But I don't question it because I'm uh -huh. looking at the fact of where he's at mm -hmm. and how come we're not benefiting from, from mm -hmm. those. But I look at some churches in the area that started out doing that and they're, they're very wealthy people today. Even here. Even here in Cleveland, mm -hmm. because they understood that principle mm -hmm. that behind what you do, God will reward you. Don't do it for the money. I'm not asking no, you no. for the money. Of course, God's going to bless you. Yeah, He's going to send it your way. Because mm -hmm. you hear stories of people giving pastors Rolls Royces. I know it. Giving uh, pastors absolutely. this. Absolutely. What, what, what? What's up? Uh, buildings and yeah, everything. Buildings and <laughs> land and all of that. What's the difference between you and, and somebody him? Else. Mm -hmm. right. He understands a principle. I agree with you. I agree with you. He understands the principle. And our people mm -hmm. perish because of a lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. not doing it for the money, but it comes. Yes, the gifts sir. come. Start thinking about it one day. Mm -hmm. Start thinking about when you come across a Gentile and, and, and you share you share the gospel with them. Mm -hmm. What is that worth? True. <laughs> I agree. Astronomical. Mm -hmm. Astronomical. You know, but we want to say, oh, Lord, you know, we, we, we want to have be humble. Oh, Lord, we didn't, we, 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 it's all about you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, he knows that already, but I used you mm -hmm. to do it. Now, what do you want? What do you want? What do you yeah. need? That's true. How can I get that $10 million in your hand? Yeah. That'll start motivating you. Yes, sir. I think yeah. about it all the time. Think about it. I, <laughs> think I about remind him about it. When, we, when you're out there evangelizing, do you know that the, mm -hmm. the, the, the people, the Jehovah Witnesses, all their buildings are paid for. All of them. Mm -hmm. All their property. All they do is evangelize. Mm -hmm. that's, it. that's true. And they do that. And they all volunteer. Mm -hmm. yeah, they volunteer. But millions and millions and millions come in weekly. Yep. Weekly. Weekly. We're missing something. We are. Sometimes that false humility will get you in trouble. Yes. It'll get you. It'll it, 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 it cause all, all those ch churches. Ain't no reason these churches should be around here broke, busted, no disgusted. Way. No way. You're preaching the gospel of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. You're healing the sick. You're raising the dead. Mm -hmm. You know how much you can save for the funeral cost? Mm. Okay. <laughs> I won't even need it. <laughs> yes. At least not right now. Okay, I'm going to lay hands on this joker because I don't want him to die. And the Bible says they share we cover. Hey, come on. All that's available to us, mm -hmm. but we don't, we don't uh, equate it. We right. just equate it with doing God's work. Right. But God said, if you work, I mm -hmm. will pay you. Yes, sir. Come on. He says, don't, don't, don't thread up, don't stop the ox from eating the, the corn, the corn Come on. while he worked. That's we are right. missing it. We are starting to really miss it. And, I, and he just showed it to me this morning. I got you. You know, that okay, 
you're doing the gospel, you're doing the work, but you're not getting compensated. Mm. Come on. That's so true. Because you're not aware that I will compensate you for it. The workman is worthy. The workman is worthy of his wages. Yes, sir. You're, you're, you're worthy of it, guys. Mm. Now think about how your church going to grow. Right. When people start saying, man, shoot, I can't wait to get out there and evangelize. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait out to get heal the sick. Yeah. I can't wait to, to prophesy over somebody. Yeah. God's going to reward me for that. Yeah. That kingdom come, that will be done on earth as, as in heaven. Mm. The Peter, I call it God Peter agreement. Jesus and Peter agreement. He brings those. Tre- <laughs> yeah, that's why he says, "Don't stow your treasures up on earth, earth now. Store them up in heaven." Yes, sir. There's a reason why some mm-hmm. people are very prosperous doing exactly what you do every day, and why every some day. of us aren't prosperous mm-hmm. doing exactly what they do right. every day. Every day. It's, it's our thinking. It's our thinking. It is truly. And I believe our. Thinking. Yes, sir. Just read the books of Daniel. Read the different books and see Come how on. these men were rewarded. Come on. For simply obeying God. Come on, now. Simply o- o- obeying God. And His works. And His works. Those gifts He gives you. Mm-hmm. He said, "Now, when they, when are these folks going to use these gifts? <laughs> right. When are they going to use them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then use them and then think, okay, right. Lord, I've done it. That's right. I've done what you said do. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting to be blessed. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it happens. It's, you're supposed to be the head and not the tail, above and Come not on. beneath. Mm-hmm. The lender mm-hmm. and not the borrower. Come on. The lender. <laughs> and I, that's what I've been working on. Right? I'm working on that too. Being the lender and not right. the borrower. I'm working on that too. Right? Being the lender and not the borrower. I want to lend to the folks. It's a whole other thought because, see, the wealth of the wicked are laid up for the righteous. Yes, sir. How does that work? Right. You know, how is, how is that going to happen? Mm hmm. Well, first of all, you got to be righteous, right? To and you got to deal with somebody wicked. Yeah, yeah, we have to deal with that. <laughs> okay, yeah, you right. We have to. Okay, mm-hmm. and that's what you see. These men of old did. Mm-hmm. They were righteous men, but they dealing with wicked men. Yes, and the wicked men said, "You know what? Mm-hmm. What do you want? I love it. What? Well, what can I? Well, what can I? What can I, I, I do for you? I love it. Oh." Is something that just hit my thought mind. Like I said, I heard it this morning. Mm-hmm. Something I want to work on. You got to work it. Yeah. Work but it. I know that there is a correlation. That's Come on. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and, and his righteousness. And I'll add all things to you. Where, where all the th- where, where, what is that? Where all the things at? Where's all the things at? Right. I'm with you. That's what he said. Why are you going to clothes? See, you, 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 don't go, out there, about you go out there and you work for clothes. Yes. Come on, Pastor. You go out there and you work for shoes. Mm-hmm. You go out there and work to get something to eat. Don't have to do that. You ain't got to do that. Once you get the rhythm, that's what I'm talking about. That rhythm. Once you see what God is doing, mm-hmm. and you start doing kingdom things. Yes, sir. It'll come. You know, you start laying hands on the sick. You start praying mm-hmm. for the poor. You start doing these kind of things. Watch what God begins to do. Mm-hmm. Watch what He begins to do in your life. Mm-hmm. And money will not be an issue because you're not seeking money now. No, you're more sure. excited about what God does that's right. through you. Yes, sir. Then you always, Lord, I need this. And right. I need no, you don't have to do that. Uh, and then your giving will be greater. Yes, Lord. Which is going to increase your, your increase. Yeah, I agree. Pastor. The more you give, I the more he's going to give to you. I, I believe it's a time for change. And I believe it's going to start happening. But I think that certain things like this aren't taught. They're not. You know, but if you start looking in the Bible, it's, it's very clear. Mm-hmm. It's very, very, very clear. clear. I mean, look at Jesus. Yes. He ain't one for nothing. He was just born. That's what I mean. He wore good stuff. And they came to him with gold and silver yeah. and oh, frankincense yeah. and all that. Oh, and it wasn't, li- it wasn't a little bit, y'all. A lot. It, it was enough to take him through. It was probably the rest of his life. Yes. Mm. I mean, come on. Yeah, I agree with you. These wise men. It didn't say three wise men. Mm-hmm. It said wise men. Yes. Men. 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 <laughs> <laughs> With so gold, somebody. silver, frankincense, myrrh. Come on, somebody. Camels full. Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. God, pro- God provided for him. God provided for Mary mm-hmm. and John and Joseph right. for the rest of their life. You're right. And they were carpenters. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. So they would build shoot the God. Jo- Joseph was somebody's shoe. I'm done building these little houses. Build me a mansion. I'm building people big houses. Now, he probably was building homes for kings. <laughs> I mean, think about it. I mean, our mind is just our so. Grade. The pictures they paint in the Bible be so little, so. We cut ourselves short. We cut ourselves short. Mm-hmm. You're right. 
you know, and, and, and so ten million is not a lot of money. It no, can it's happen. Not. It can happen. I believe it. I believe I'm believing. Faith, I'm, believing I'm believing. I am believing, and I'm working on fifty three. Living on the open. F- fifty three million. I said I'm on fifty three million before I leave here for my children. Hey Amen. I believe that. And, and it's not. It's, and I believe it will happen. Because I asked for it. Now he's giving me an idea. That's it. He does it to the this. Let me drop out the sky. Right, right, right. right. Mm-hmm. It ain't going to drop out the sky. Yeah. But the teaching. Because people will pay for a good teaching. Yeah. And, and I said, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm writing the books now. I already wrote two manuals. Now I got to work on two more before the end of this year. Come on. The true story of Come Tragedy on. Triumph. Paige, what you got faith out there for? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to have Karen talk about what's coming in there. Yes. For my pastor's business, Darby Three Legacies. Come on. Because I'm constructing the website for it, so mm-hmm. it's coming together nicely. Yes. Like the ideas and everything. Like God told me not to touch yet, but draw out everything. A guideline, a web, um, a story of mm-hmm. how it's going to go, and I see it. Mm-hmm. So I believe uh, my faith is in that. My faith is in Super Saint owning her own business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I believe in my own business. Mm-hmm. I believe in the freedom of doing. What type of business you want? IT business. Well, maybe you do that tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a good thing. You can do it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Ain't no but. Just yeah. Need the steps. I there mean, you, you 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 know how to do IT work. Yeah. You go to Vista Print, twenty five dollars. They give you five hundred cards. Yeah, right. Yeah, make it happen. You got a name for your your business? Techno savvy. You yeah, put techno savvy on there. A contact yeah. number. Get the EIN number. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get the EIN. Get the you can get the EIN. That's free. You yeah, get that too. too. Open your little bank account. Mm-hmm. But get that after you get your first contract. There you right. Go. Hey, make it I can. I, this is what I do. This is what I do. Let let every day let five people know. What you do? You get a call. That's somebody, hey man, my my church is uh, system is going down. Or we're trying Ain't to hook up hook up this and that. They'll, they'll be calling you left and right, but you gotta let people know what you do. Right. right. See, you gotta kind of admit it that you're just using your brains, your skill set. Yes, mm-hmm. Right. You know, you know, you know something that mm-hmm. they don't. Right. You can start that business tomorrow. Come on, somebody. Around your hours. Yep. I love it. Around your hours. While you working yeah. your job? Mm-hmm. Say, hey, well, I can't get there until so and so after 5 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And I only work on do do do. And this is my cause. Yes, sir. It's just that simple. Like then it. you get your IN number, open mm-hmm. up your little bank account. Yes. <laughs> Got it. it mm-hmm. Was that hard? No. No, no absolutely not. No. He know. I, 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 he heard me talk about I encourage all of them mm-hmm. That there's some entrepreneurship in you Remember my, One of my other sons um, Terrence has his own landscaping business Paint He does a phenomenal job mm-hmm. And he's working it I told him to get him some business cards He got it mm-hmm. He's working it Working it that's Teaching it. them principles You know And that's something that We're going to do more of next year We're going to teach finance You know He, he knows how to teach that. He works for, for the bank Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, we're going to educate people a little bit more on how to be a steward of what you have and how to use what you have. Right. We're asking for more, but don't know how to use what we already have. And that's the problem. you got to learn that God takes just what you got mm-hmm. and increases that. Right. You know, and that's, that's what I've done. Communication is, is key. A little bit. you got to talk to people. Yeah, and I, yeah, he that. He loved to talk. Yeah, he loved to talk. Yeah, he loved to talk. <laughs> so he good with that. I mean, you've got crunk. Dancing engagements. Lord have mercy. How did that happen? Mm-hmm. By performing and by telling people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That amazes me every time they do it. Mm-hmm. I tried it. You tried it. It ain't more. Work. It ain't more. Work. It ain't more. Work. I, I, I felt something in Brother Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> That's past my season. <laughs> yes, sir. Should I can crump? Well, you show him. Press skills. He tried to eat your IT. Yeah, you don't mind. You got two seconds in. Well, Kayla Taylor was doing. Kayla, we got a few minutes left. Okay. Tell us what's going on over at your church. On, well, Apostle, last year we was here before you. We had our second annual break every chain service. Mm-hmm. This year, Apostle, we had to have the service to a conference. Oh, yes. 
Oh. Last year we yeah. had two speakers. We yeah. have four speakers this time. Come on, somebody. Increase. It, exactly. Amen. But best, the best part of this is at our own building. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be sharing my story as a matter of fact mm -hmm. just in a few hours tomorrow eight years ago right. would be the day that of course yes. um, the world knew about about right. the tragedy and things like that so Come I'll on, be sharing right. exactly how my faith has prevailed mm. me to I think I got your picture up there she up there? She, 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 she up there. Oh. She got her hair. That's her right there. Man. I didn't know who it was. She got her hair. See, she, she, she um, keep her hair up. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't store bought. Thank you. That's real hair. That's what I mean. So, so I'll, I'll be sharing my story as always. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Then on Thursday night is our very own Bishop Charles Dorsey is going to be yes, exactly yes. on that Thursday. Yes, Lord. I love it. Thursday. On Friday, we have the Almighty Power of Dr. Dorinda Bell. Yes, sir. Yes. And then on Sunday, yes. we have a treat. Oh, and yeah. The trans, ju just the name, Transformation I'm so excited. Center, mm. We have Pastor Stephen West. Extreme He's prophetic. Oh, man. Is I'm that sorry. Amazing. Huh? Oh, don't worry. Extreme I, 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 I prophetic. Yeah. Like mm. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Because actually, it is, um, you know, next week exactly is Mental Health Awareness Week. So right. that's exactly why we're doing it. Right exactly. on time. But, um, we have to, yeah, we have to start you. talking. Mm -hmm. Talking about these things, everything. Every time you turn on the TV, the news, you hear about yeah, what, 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 um, what. They, they know the signs, but then, mm -hmm. of course, if we knew the signs, like exactly mm -hmm. what I would share my story is if we knew the signs, right. things would have been changed and things been like different. that. So we have people right here in our old church that... Mm -hmm. Well, I want to I wanna share something before we go. Please. Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ladies no. and gentlemen. Go ahead. Coming to you live, KAZ Radio presents one mic. Mm -hmm. Only one mic? One mic. Gospel singing competition yes, starting sir. Sunday, October the 18th. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, if I told you the kind of money that was involved, all of y'all to sign up, you couldn't even I sing. know, they couldn't even mm -hmm. sing. It's $5,000 <laughs> to winner. Wow. Five for adults. $500 to the child who wins. Wow. $500 for the second place person that's an adult. Wow. $250. For uh, the child that wins, I got all the information on the back of the card. That's I got it awesome. right now. But it's a competition, and, we're, and it's going to be uh, scheduled every other Sunday. I think they're going to have it. Mm. And then the first twenty people that sign up mm. is going to be on BET commercial. Mm. Wow! On BET TV. BET. But on a BET commercial. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sound good. And All right. So um, <laughs> I'll be sure to get more information yeah, out I'll to you. Post it on my page. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We get that information out to everybody, and they can sign up and, yes, sir. and get that going. So we'll get those cards out to y'all real soon. Sound good. So hey, we're saying we're about out of time, but Amen. go ahead. Amen. Love it. Love it. Apostle, we thank you so much. But we never want to leave the show without leading somebody to Christ. We don't know who's watching this show, but we believe that who's ever watching, you need to know tonight that you don't have to stay as you are, that God loves you. And the Bible said, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. And believe that God is the Lord and Savior of your life. Don't stop there. Get into a Bible teaching, Bible believing church, and allow God to make something incredible out of your life. God bless you. God bless you. Wow, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can, can do that too. Is this your last show for the night, Apostle? Yeah, I got to go. And Apostle Cruz having a uh, conference tonight? No, for oh, tomorrow. Okay. For KZ to uh, come out. So you got to prep for that filming. Okay. I got to go check him out, man. But I, you know, I, he, you know, as long as he, he, he do right by me, I, I, I'll be okay. It's business. It's business. It's business. It's business. That's why I tell people. I don't know. Don't you don't know. Don't you don't know. Don't you Give me what I ask for. Then if you don't have it, let me know. Then I work with you. What I'm going to do. Right. I'll work with you. Right. I'll work with you. Right. Love you, Apostle. Apostle is always a Oh, you coming out too? Okay. Yes, it is always a treat. Always. always a treat. <laughs>
Oh, you know what? I got to put y'all on Facebook. Okay, I'll see you. Oh, you sure? You want me to wait for you? No, no, no. I got to put you on YouTube. No, no, I got it. Thanks.